why you should never trust a narcissist. You should never trust a narcissist, whether it's a relationship partner, family member or friend. You cannot trust them because you're not on the same team. You don't share the same goals. Which is why you may notice that they're not as enthusiastic as you are because they don't have your best interest in mind. They're very envious and jealous of you, which takes control of them. It changes the way in which they operate and prevents them from conforming to accepted standards of morality and respectability. It prevents them from being honest or polite. It prevents them from having strong moral principles because when they look at you and everything that you've become, everything that you've achieved, they instantly realize and accept that they're not going to achieve anything by being fair or honest. So they feel compelled to lie, steal and deceive. They feel compelled to show a consistent and uncompromising adherence to strong immoral and unethical principles and values because they see that you're doing better than them. You're accomplishing more than them and it's too difficult for them to agree with or accept even when you're coming to them with guidance or recommendations or when you're trying to show them your accomplishments because you see it as something positive and as something that might uplift them they're not looking at it as something that they can achieve or be a part of. It just makes them hate and envy you. So then they decide to take it away from you. Because they realize that it's the only way they're ever going to get it. They accept that they're not going to achieve anything worthwhile on their own. So they realize and accept that they have to do it through you. by gradually lessening your effectiveness, power and ability, by causing unrest and instability in you. And they will do that by directing you to the wrong direction, by giving you misleading information. Because they look at it like if they give you the correct information, that's just going to help you perform exceptionally well. Which means that it's going to work against their feelings of unworthiness and of being overlooked. So instead, they will deliberately mislead you because they are not on your side. They are your enemy because they lack empathy and compassion. So they're not concerned about how you should be treated. They're not concerned about anything to do with you. It's a means to an end. It's a means to get what they want from you. And if you're looking for compassion and comfort from a narcissist, it's never going to work out. You're just going to end up being deceived, misled and mistreated, but they will pretend like they care. Because that serves their agenda. It just makes you believe in them even more. When you may not have believed in them, if they didn't pretend to care. So they will try to convince you that they're these kind-hearted people who only have your best interests in mind, but secretly they don't care about you at all, which can be a very difficult thing to accept because you just can't imagine how someone can have such a different way of thinking. How someone cannot have any limits when it comes to deceiving, misleading and mistreating people. But this is just the reality of it. They don't care. 
which is why they would only help you if they could exert their influence on you because that's all they really care about they just want to be able to affect you it's not because they possess kind, generous or compassionate qualities and you should be able to see it by recognizing that they're always so negative and pessimistic they don't have anything to give so all they can do is destroy you and hold you back which is why you should stop sharing information with them you should stop trying to please these unpleasable people because they're never going to be able to receive anything good about you they have a void that can never be filled which means that they will never be able to reciprocate anything of value back to you because they don't have it to give all they can do is simulate these feelings and emotions based on what they've seen from you so you're just going to be chasing after a reflection of yourself which they're constantly keeping away from you because they already know that once you obtain it and it's yours you're going to realize that you never needed it anyway because you're not going to get anything meaningful out of them and you should already be able to recognize this from their negative behavior it should reveal to you that they really don't have anything of value to give to you because they don't want you to succeed they're envious because they can't generate their own happiness from within they can only generate it from external things and even then it doesn't last for long which is why whenever they see you achieving something they will always speak in a condescending or oversimplified fashion to disparage and belittle you to make you feel like something is wrong because they don't want you to have something that they can't have they may pretend to support and encourage you initially but that's only in the beginning because they don't think that you're actually going to go out and achieve it which is why the moment they see that you are going to do it they will try to distract you they will try to pull you back in so that you focus on something else but if it's already gone too far they will just see it as something they can use you for because they never believed in you they never believed that you could actually do it but when they see that you're about to do it now they're on your side again but it isn't real they're not really about it it's only so that they can gain something at your expense even though they were never there to help you succeed and in fact a lot of times they were discouraging you from your success which is why you can never trust a narcissist even though at times it may seem like they're supporting and encouraging you it's not genuine which is why when you do finally achieve something they will be expecting something from you in return because they were never real to begin with so all they can do is take they can't contribute anything to you all they're concerned with is what they can benefit from being around you or in contact with you and if they're not getting anything out of it they won't even support you you won't even hear from them because they have their own standards and ideas of what they deem to be enough but there's really no such thing as enough in their minds because they have this void that can never be filled so even if you did do a lot for them they wouldn't even be able to recognize it it wouldn't even do anything for them and they may even come out and tell you that you did nothing for them because that's literally how they feel which will leave you very confused but it's because they can't be satisfied which is why you cannot trust them and you shouldn't even deal with them 
because they're not going to be any good for you long term. They're always going to get negative, which means that you're not going to get the love and attention that you deserve. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comments section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.